Hello everyone, are you ready for another adventure? It's me, Wokey, and I'm here with Metal Slater Glory. What's that? I don't know. Other than <laughs> it is a uh, Japanese-only Famicom game that was made by Hell Laboratories, and it was never released over here, and from what I understand it, it's a half-adventure game, half-weird shoot-em-up, and it seemed cool by the name, so I picked it up. And I'm just going to play it for a bit because I felt like it. I've actually had this on my computer for a while, but then I was meant to play it on my own. And then I realized I don't have anything to do. So I'm just going to play it for a bit. So that's going to be today's video. I hope you enjoy it. hope you enjoy this random ass game that I'm going to be playing. Hey, this is Passwoki here to give you something of Metal Slater Glory. I realized after I started recording that this beginning part isn't replayed and is important to understand the beginning of the plot. So I'm going to just read it right here. You know this thing looks kind of beat up. You sure Jen didn't rip you off? Only one way to find out. I'm going to start here. Start her up. Stand back. All right. You got it. Okay. Here goes. Huh? What the? Earth in danger. Seek creator. What the heck is this? Tadashi? The mech is... What did you do to it? Metal Slater Glory. And now we'll head into the actual thing where the story can begin. <laughs> Normally. There you go. Here we go. Uh, Elena. Alright, we're here. Let's find Gen and see what he knows about that Slater. Okay. Lead the way. Alright. Tadashi, wait for me. That was what I said by Azusa. This is actually kind of crazy for a Famicom game. I remember reading that this game cost a lot of money for them to make and they did not make a lot of it because of it. Because this is pushing the Famicom near the end of its life stream. <laughs> Close, Azusa. Hey, why is it closed? He was here this morning. I wonder where he went. Hey again, Charmy. I guess nobody's home. Look, somebody left the light, light on. You're right, hopefully that means they'll be back soon. Can I make this go slightly faster? Hmm, we want to take a walk and come back later just to make it uh, not so awkward for when I'm trying to say it. Elena, sure. I could think of worse things to do on a sunny day like today. No, I guess like this. You coming, Azusa? Yeah! Alright. Do I look Talk or turn around? What could you know, what 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 happens if I turn around? Tadashi, wait a sec. What? Look. Shop. What's up with that sign? Oh, I can make you go faster. I know what you mean. I guess that's just his style. Kinda makes it look like a restaurant. Alright, look at Elena. Dashi, are you checking me out? Wh what? No. Bro was called out. Talk. Elena. Slater. Why would this disguise as a worker mech? Yeah, what's that message mean? I don't, I feel like I'm missing crit critical things, but that might have been what the opening was. Gen must have known about the message, right? Let's hope so. Okay. Cause yeah, this opens with them finding some kind of a mech thing, and it says Earth in danger. Something wrong? I feel like I've seen this robot somewhere before. Seriously? Where? I... I don't remember. Alright. Nobody remembers anything? Turn around. Hey, Azusa. Yeah, Tadashi? Talk, I guess. Will there be different dialogue here? Parents. Sure. Do you remember anything about Dad, Azusa? 
Not much, just how kind he was and how he used to smile. Yeah. He died in the conflict eight years ago, didn't he? What was his name? Mas Masatata? Sorry, it's none of my business to bring up your dead parents. Let's talk about something else. You guys are being major bummers. Who just goes to their sister and says, Do you remember our dead parents real quick? <laughs> it seems like uh, not the most opportune time to say it. Not when there's a beautiful backdrop in the background. What about your parents, Elena? They're still full of life. <laughs> not to flex. Mine are alive. Oh, I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to just uh, brag about my alive parents. Hey, don't worry about it. You were saying? They live out in the country and pretty much keep to themselves. What did your dad do, Tadashi? He's dead. My father's dead. <laughs> he was a Slater pilot. Wow, really? Slaters, okay. Is there anything more, just to be sure? No. Um, Alright, take a look. Look at the ocean. You like the yo the ocean, Tadashi? I guess. It's my favorite place in the world. Really? Okay. Uh, Lena, I think there's an airport over there. Yeah. They fly all the way into the outer space into outer space, right? Someday I want to see the stars up close. I thought you'd be into uh, you'd been into space before. Nope, never. All right. I guess ta. I mean, I already talked about. It. I don't know what to go from here. Wait a sec. All right. Turn around once more. Go here. Mix them up. Do I just click? Okay, no, that's the same thing as always. I don't know how to advance forward. There's not that many buttons on a Famicom. <laughs> I thought you'd been in this space before. Nope, never. All right. Uh, there's only one thing I love more than the ocean. My big brother. Thanks, I guess. He didn't say I guess. I said that. Atlanta, you two are going to make me puke. Okay, I guess there was more to talk about. Alright. Do I just keep talking about our parents? I don't remember anything about mom at all. Alright. What about you? I guess you get your love of machines from your dad. I wonder if he was as girl crazy as you, though. Hey! Weird thing to say, but okay. Uh, I guess turn around again. Guess I haven't finished talking about absolutely everything here. Oh, I can go now. Okay, sweet. I'm gonna go shop. They should be back by now. Let's go take a look. Look like somebody's here. Again, Charmy. Anybody home? Come on in, that said Charmy. Azusa, hey, that sounds like Charmy. Let's go. Charmy. Oh, I was expecting Charmy B. Oh, it's you guys. Something the matter? Look. Look at room. Wow. This place is absolutely spotless. Yeah, Charmy always keeps it perfect. Must be great to live in a place this clean. My place looks like shit. It's absolutely terribly made. And just what is that supposed to mean? Uh, yeah, I don't know what it is implying. I might wish my place was <laughs> I wish my place was this clean all the time. I guess that's what he was implying is that I live in squalor. Tadashi, what is it? Nothing. Tadashi, stop staring. It's funny that you just have the op can I just keep staring at her? Make this really awkward? Am I not cute? <laughs> Am I not cute enough for you? I never said that. She's like, have you seen 
the Famicom absolutely working its ass off, they ca perfectly captured the 80s anime eyes in her face. Alright, let's talk Charmy. Let's talk about the shop. We came by earlier, but you were closed. Charmy. Gee, I'm really sorry. There's a sale at Tomato Mart, so I went to pick up a few things, namely tomatoes. Love them stuff. Gen. Where's Gen? He said he was heading out for a while. Did you need him for something? We'd like to talk to him if that's okay. Slater. Hey, Charmy. Did Gen say anything to you about the worker mech we bought earlier? Charmy. No, nothing. Is there something wrong with it? Oh, no. Not at all. Good. I'm just gonna talk again. It came in just before you bought it, so I'm afraid I don't know much about it. Alright, fair enough. Merchandise. Do your mechs come from off-world? Yes, you'll have to get the details from Gen, but I think most of them come from the colonies. Uh, what's a colony? It's like a giant city floating in space. The Space Colony Arc is where Shadow the Hedgehog uh, come from. Wow! Find out more whenever they decide to release that movie, I assume. Do you know which colonies? Not exactly. 20 and 30, maybe. Anything more? I'm going to repeat the question. Okay. Let me just uh, get one last look at Charming, I guess. Oh, she's gonna, just going to say it again. We've now uh, locked out of one route and into the next. We're going to leave now, Charmy. I guess we'll come back later. Sorry I wasn't much help. Where could Gen have gone? I know, he's never around when you need... Wait, isn't that? Huh? You're right, that's Gen's car. Hey, Gen, over here. Look. Man, I just want to stare at the ocean for a bit. What are you waiting for, Tadashi? Come on. Hey, let go of me. Just wanted to stare at the ocean. Yo, Tadashi, what's up? I'm going to look directly into Gen's beautiful locks right here. Why are you looking at me like that? Are you hiding something from us, Gen? H hiding? What are you talking about? Well, um... Gonna stare. I told you I ain't hiding anything. Car. Blast from the past, ain't she? It looks dorky. Did this come from the same place as your Mex? Nah, I bought her from a dealer. She was pretty beat up when I found her. Alright. No need to keep staring again then. Elena. Elena. Damn, you really fill out that sweater, huh? Elena, wait, what? Huh? Uh, again, don't be gross. Yeah, dude, what the hell? It's weird. Shoot, forgot I was going to say. Uh, talked again about Charmy. Do you always leave without telling Charmy where you're going? You want me to check in with her every time I take a leak, too? Let me ask that again. Do you always leave without telling Charmy where you're going? You want me to t check every time I go take a leak? Yeah, okay, okay, bro. Got you. Remember the mech I bought from you earlier? The worker mech? What about it? For starters, it's not a worker mech. It's a combat mech. A metal slater. The hell you say? It was using some kind of high-tech cloaking device. Not only that, but it looks brand new. Where'd you get it from? The colonies, of course. Which colony? Colony 35, I think. Aw, oh, hell. I don't remember. What? You can't remember where your own merchandise comes from? Bro, don't call me out on that, man. I get illegal <laughs> illegal parts from everything. Message? What message? 
There was a message in the Slater cockpit. It said, Earth in danger, seek the creator. Wait, what? If that message is real, then let me guess. You want to play detective and find this creator guy. Uh, go. Where we can find information on metal slaters? I don't even know. Where to start? Find the ID number and you should be able to dig up some kind of record. The folks at the orbital station could probably help you out. Hear that, Tadashi? The orbital station? Let's go! Okay. We'll give it a shot. Thanks, Gen. Anytime. Hey, Gen. Would you mind taking us to the airport? This look like a taxi to you? Uh, fine, I'll give you a lift. Hop on in. You bringing that Slater too? I guess so. Okay, load it in the trailer and we'll get going. I mean, it's a big ass robot thing. I don't think this car can carry a giant robot, but you know what, you do you. All right, I stand corrected. This car can, in fact, <laughs> drive this big ass mech. That was a comically large mech. I would never imagine it would be like that. This feels great. Look, Slater. You think it's okay having the Slater out in the open? <laughs> yeah, don't worry. Nobody think it's a real deal. Speaking of. Which you think the cockpit smelled kind of funky? What do you mean, funky? Oh, like toilet cleaner or something? Gross. Is he serious? Now that you mention it, I hope nothing disgusting happened in there. Like what? Someone took a poop inside of the Slater? I mean, they're pilots. I don't know what the pilots do. I've actually always wondered what do the pilots and the Gundams and the mobile suits do. I think it's okay having the Slater out in the open. Okay, they're asking again while they're going through this. I always wonder what, what do the, the pilots actually do when they need to use the bathroom in mid-battle? Do they actually just poop the suits? Is it like astronauts? I think astronauts poop in suits. But I actually don't know. I also think wouldn't it be extremely dangerous to be doing that? There's no escape. It's not like you can just, like, open the hatch and let it go through. These are all questions I've never thought to ask myself. Alright. Talk. Azusa. Do you remember where you saw this Slater, Azusa? Nope. I mean, it was a real long time ago. Like, how long? When I was still real small. Okay, I'm just asking the same questions again. Always check. Yeah, okay. Elena. The creator in the message must uh, be whoever designed it. I guess so. What do you think, Gen? Either that or the guy who actually put the thing together. Huh, good point. Talk to Elena again. Okay. Just to be sure, I was like, what? They always have to double check with a lot of these uh, dialogue choices. Alright. Airport? We're near the airport. Guys, we're almost there. Don't be fooled by the fact that not much has changed or no other cars are coming or going. Damn, look at it go. That is a huge fucking thing. Wow, we're flying in that. I don't think I've ever seen you this excited. I'm finally gonna see the stars up close. Okay, all set. You know, my freighter moon face is docked at the station. Wanna borrow it? Really? Of course we do. Right, Tadashi? Uh, borrow. Here's the key card. I you fucked that up, but it's okay. She's docked at uh, gate 561. Thanks again. Be sure to thank Charmy for us too. The reason I have to be a little bit more careful is that I know this game, it's an old adventure game, an old VN style game. If I say the wrong thing, I'm going to have to restart everything. We should get going too. Yeah. 
I'll go get our tickets and sort out transportation for the Slater. Whatever you do, don't tell them it's real. That kind of goes without saying. Come on, Azusa. Okay. Alright. Thank you for flying with ATF Airways. This is the 1513 shuttle bound for the orbital station. Once our final checks are complete, we will be begin departure. We hope you enjoy your flight. Heart emoji. Look. Look at Azusa. Hmm? Look at Azusa. <laughs> what? I like the way you look at Azusa. It's cute. Look at Elena. Yeah? You look excited. I feel like a detective or something. I know what you mean. Look at her again. Yeah? You look excited. Okay, just the same thing. Look at the window. Nothing but blue sky right now. Alright. Back off. Talk. Elena. What'd you do with the Slater? It's in the hold. What'd you do with the Slater? What'd you do with the Slater? Uh, I told you already. It's in the hold. Azusa, don't go opening any windows, okay? We'll all be horribly dead. Don't be dumb. Even I know there's no air out there. I guess they're flying in space. I do want to see the stars, though. She does have the look of someone who wants to... <laughs> Option three, smile. <laughs> I'll smile. You jerk. You're just as excited as I am. We will begin our departure shortly. Please fasten your seat belts. Here we go. That's the sound of a jet taking off. God damn, that thing is jetting the fuck out there. I've got whoa! <laughs> I guess you would have to be if you're going all the way to fuck the space. Yeah, I guess epilepsy warning on this one. Jesus Christ, they did not have any of the. Uh, I might have to put something up just in case. <laughs> this is, is pushing my uh, emulator to its absolute core just not to break down on that. All right, it's over. Snake drinking water up across. Enjoy this while the, the plane was going in flight. Alright, it's in space now. Oh, it's back! And now we have our space song. This thing's slowly going to space. Would you take a flight to space? Me? Yeah. No. No? Never? Okay, so you're like you're saying that unless there was an absolute reason for us to go to Mars, you would not take a f space flight of any kind. I guess that's understandable. Not everyone would want to fly in space. I don't think there's anything in space for me. There's the staff. Staff credits. They said this is the perfect time to let everyone know who made this game. Scenario writer and character designer Yoshimiru. Star. Graphic designer, the one guy, Satoshi Ono. Man, I remember when video game credits were basically this long, and it was like one dude doing it all. Composer, Seichi Kyoda, uh, Kayusuke Yabashi, and Life Planning. I guess there's three people for composing. Sound effects. 
Tadashi Mukai and live planning again. Title logo designer, important. Hitoshi Tagata. Wants you to wants everyone to know he made the logo for Metal Slater. Programmer. HAL Laboratory Inc., Metal Slater Glory, and the project team. No names on that one. They don't want you to know the names. Uh, I hate takeoff. Hey, it's gone in dark outside. I mean, you're in fucking space. I don't know what you would expect. What should we do when we get there? Let's get the Slater onto Gan's ship. Right. Man. I hope we can find out where it came from. We still don't know anything about it, do we? See, I was able to give a breath there because I was like waiting for it to actually finish. <laughs> and we've only got that message to go on. You know, it would help if we could find the, the pilot. Yeah, the pilot. And the creator mentioned in the message. That message bothers me. Let's take a closer look at the Slater once we get there. Good idea. I see something out the window. Is it space? Looks like we've reached the station. That was fast. We will be arriving at the orbital station shortly. Thank you for flying ATF Airways. We wish you a pleasant stay. Well, shall we? Sure. I don't, I don't see why reason why not. Thanks for waiting. I had them deliver the Slater to gate 561. It should be waiting for us on the moon face. Look. There sure are a lot of people here. You can say that again. Talk. Elena. Gate 561. All the gates over 500 are reserved for freighters. It's over this way. Um, hurry up, Tadashi. Let's go. Or hurry, Tadashi. Suza again. Um, hurry, Tadashi. Let's go. Okay, just making sure. Let's go. Let's go to the damn gate. Okay, off we go. I have no idea what that is supposed to be. Tadashi, so this is the moon face. This is what I look like? I guess that's what Tadashi looked like. It certainly lives up to its name. Look. Moon face. Looks like it's in pretty shape. It's got Gen's Auto written on the side. I hope nobody sees me in this thing. Kind of makes it look like a restaurant. All right, let's go. Moonface hangar. Hey, the Slater's already here. That was quick. I guess flirting with the guys at the transport company worked. Jeez. Anyway, this hangar is a lot smaller than I expected. I guess it's because there are rooms up above. You're right, though. It'll be tough getting the Slater upright. Look, Slater. A really metal Slater. I still can't believe it. I know, right? Crazy. Can I talk to the Slater? I can't. What is it we needed to look for? You got the memory of a goldfish. We have to find some kind of ID number. Azusa? You still remember where you saw the Slater, Azusa? No, I'm sorry, Tadashi. Don't worry about it. I'm sure it's not important to the plot or anything. Slater cockpit. Alright, I'm getting in. I'm going to sit it upright. Tell me if I'm about to hit the wall or something, okay? You got it. Easy does it. 
Good job, Tadashi. So, now what? It actually smells pretty good in here. Why did Jen say that it smelled like toilet cleaner? I can't really smell anything. Talk, Elena. So, any ideas where to find the ID number? Nope. Not at all. This cockpit's pretty small, though. Can't be that hard to find it, can it? Azusa? What's wrong, Azusa? I feel weird. Huh? Look. Instruct in... Instructment panel? Something's written here. VMH. That's all? Yeah. Console? Whoa. Find something? What have we here? Looks like some kind of disc. Could be from the flight recorder. Flight recorder. There's nothing inside. I don't think it'll work without a disc. I have a disc. Think. Letters. I wonder if VMH is the ID number. It's not exactly a number, is it? That's true. But what else could it be? Beats me. Disc. This must be from the flight recorder. Looks like it, but why was it hidden down there? Maybe it's got something important on it. Mm, think about that, smart one. At least now we have something to go on. Maybe you're not such an idiot after all. Hey. Leave. Okay, let's get out. Look, Slater. Uh, this is re this Slater really fought in the war eight years ago. Hard to believe, isn't it? Stairs. Those stairs must lead to the upper levels. No elevator, huh? Again, such a cheapskate. All right, let's go. I guess. Go up. Let's head up. Hey, it's pretty nice in here. So there's another floor above this one. I guess so. Look. The door in the front leads to a cabin and there's a bathroom in the back. Great, I've been dying for a shower since we landed. Maybe I'll sneak a peek while you take one, pervert. I mean, the right answer here to say is, can you fucking not do that, my guy? Don't be weird. Uh, go up. Okay, up we go. So this is the main floor, huh? Look, a skylight. Wow, I can see the stars. Look. There's another cabin up here, and a kitchen, too. You guys hungry? I can make something. I'm fine. You're only offering because you're hungry, aren't you? You got me there. I can wait till you guys are ready, though. Subfloor. All right, let's head back down. All right, we'll go back down. There's more information. Okay, no, just to be sure. All right, we have to go to gate five sixty one. Back to the gate. Go. Station Bay. Let's head back to the Station Bay. We need to find someone who can tell us who the pilot was. Tadashi, can I stay here? Why? I want to look at the stars some more. Okay, sure. Yay. I feel like that's some kind of flag to say that she's been going to be kidnapped. Just don't leave the ship, okay? Okay. You know, sometimes you guys sound more like sweethearts than siblings. Don't make this weird. Huh? If I didn't know better, and you call me a pervert, your sick mind, in your sick amount of pixels on the screen, where should we go check the records? <clears throat> I 
I'm sure the place has a data room. All right, go. Data room. <laughs> Easy. Let's go look. This looks like a place. Look, Elena. What is it? Nothing. You were staring at my butt, weren't you? No. Yes. At least he's, I guess, being honest about it. There's a woman sitting behind the counter. Time to go awkwardly stare at that woman. But first we have to talk to Luna. The lady at the counter should be able to help us. Yeah. Talk to woman. Excuse me. Hello, how may I help you? First things first, madam. I must stare at your face. Is there a problem, sir? Huh. Oh, sorry. Now nah, I must stare at your body. Not bad. Can I help you? Uh, yeah, I think Elena has a nicer figure. Tadashi, stop leering at her, you weirdo. That's the accurate response to that. Uh, excuse me, what's your name? Um, what's your name? My name? It's... Petruchka. You better not ask her for a phone number. Bro, well, we still- we don't use phone numbers in space. We need some information on the pilot of a certain metal slater. I see. If you know it's a unit or ID number, it should be able to help. I should be able to help. Right. What was that ID number? Fuck. V... VH... VHR. VHR. That's not it. Did you forget it already? Yes. Oh, I don't remember what the fuck this thing is called. <laughs> um, the V. H. Is it the VHK? I was not told that I was going to be math on this later. Oh, god damn it. Well, excuse me as I look it up real quick. And go, I can't believe that I forgot it in that short amount of time. Metal. Slater. Number. That is not what I wanted. I simply want to know God damn it. I mean, the actual best way to, for me to figure this out is to stop the video <laughs> and <laughs> look back at the video and see what it is, because Google's useless. So I'm just going to say that's it for right now. I'll probably do another video of this, because now I'm kind of curious where the fuck this thing is going. Uh, I'll see you guys in the next video, assuming that you're still watching. But until next time, peace out.